Horns are one of the most astonishing features in animals. Most of the time, these features are incredibly intimidating, giving them a powerful and sublime look. Although it's more common in males, there are some species where the females have them too. They usually start growing soon after birth, continuing to grow throughout the animal's life. In this video, we are going to introduce you to the animals with the biggest horns in the world. Before we begin, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more amazing content. So, let's get started. Number 12. Scimitar Horned Oryx A real-life unicorn? No, it's just a scimitar horned oryx. This dazzling species was located across North Africa, and we say was because they've been hunted for so long that in 2000, the species had to be declared extinct in the wild. However, thanks to conservation efforts and acclimation enclosures made back in 2006, they were reintroduced into the wild. As of 2020, the number was around 350 oryx, so it is still a work in progress. The reason why they're hunted is because they're the only oryx with curved horns that grow beyond one meter. Their horns are long and thin in shape and are very symmetrical, but they're hollow and thin, which can cause them to break easily. Although both males and females have horns, females are slightly slender. The horns are used for competition between males and also for courtship. It's possible that the unicorn, the magical creature with just one large horn, was inspired by this animal. If you think about it, if a scimitar oryx loses one of its horns, it won't regrow because they're made of hollow bone, which means it's going to be a unicorn for the remainder of its life. Number 11. Markor Goat Known as Pakistan's national animal, the Markor is native to Central Asia, Karakoram, and the Himalayas. Like all the other species found in this region, the number of markors has dramatically decreased thanks to habitat loss, competition between species, and overhunting, not only for their meat, but also for their horns. They seem like the type of animal which a wizard would choose to transform into because of its long hair that covers from the chin to the shanks, similar to a large beard. Their horns are incredible and are close together near the head and spread out at the tip. They measure up to 160 centimeters and have a corkscrew shape. This also explains why they're sometimes called the screw-horned goat. Both sexes have horns, but because they are sexually dimorphic, females' horns only grow up to 25 centimeters. Their anatomy is adapted to the environment, which is usually mountainous terrain where they spend most of the summer on the peak with their smooth and short coat. During winter, their coats grow and thicken as they descend to the base of the mountain. Number 10. Jacob Sheep Well, this animal doesn't have the biggest horns, but it has a ton of them so it deserved a spot in this list. Named after the biblical figure Jacob, who used to breed animals with spots, this kind of sheep has two, four, or even six horns, although the latter one is more atypical. The other interesting aspect of this sheep is that it's piebald, a pattern of white spots on a pigmented background. This means that it's a dark-colored sheep with patches of white wool. The Polyceret Jacob, or multi-horned, are more common in America than England, Although both sexes have horns, the males, also known as rams, have larger and more impressive ones, while the ewes or females are shorter, smaller, and look more delicate. When they only have two horns, they are spiral, characteristic of the four-horned sheep. The larger horns are located at the top of the head and can be longer than 60 centimeters, while the others are located sideways. They can be really friendly and make good pets if they're accustomed to people. Additionally, they are low-maintenance animals characterized by their toughness and their high resistance to parasites. Number 9. Bighorn Sheep Most recognized by its huge and curling horns, the bighorn sheep is a magnificent creature, a perfect design in nature. Just watch that perfect spiral on the sheep's horns. The horns are present in both female and males, but rams have larger and bigger curvatures, whereas ewes are shorter and honestly not as iconic. The horns can weigh around 14 kilograms and they never stop growing, which can be problematic when the horns bury into their skin and kill them. They are more common in western North America and although they're not in danger, the population has decreased because of overhunting and disease. They usually fight a lot within the species, especially when it's mating season, and they have to prove their dominance. Although the battles are very dramatic and they clash their horns violently, the impact is not as bad as it looks thanks to their anatomy particularly because of the double layer of bone that covers their skull. Though they may not die from the fight, the losers end up losing mates and are also exposed to malnutrition and predators. Number 8. Black-Necked Goat Commonly known as Valai Black Neck or Glacier Goats, these domestic goats have a coat color that is one of the most iconic ones. A straight line divides their color, being half black from the nose to the middle of the body and half white from there to the tail. So what you end up seeing is a goat with its front legs that are black, whereas the hind ones are white. 
Native to the mountains, they live in southern Switzerland and near areas of northern Italy. Their horns are long and elegant, but the reason why we wanted to mention them is because in 2017, an eight-year-old black-necked goat named Rasputin broke the Guinness World Record for having the world's largest horn spread for a living goat. Uncle Sam, Rasputin's predecessor, has a horn span of 132 centimeters, whereas Rasputin's horns are 135.2 centimeters in length. Although he may seem a little intimidating, he's not. Martin Perker, his owner, says he's such a well-behaved and careful goat who's never hurt anyone. Number 7. Rhinos Rhino horns are very different from sheep or antelope because they don't have it attached to their skull. Instead, their horns are made of the same material as our nails and hair, keratin fibers. Perhaps for this reason, people find them so appealing. They believe that their horns can be prepared for some kind of magical medicine to cure cancer or use it as an aphrodisiac. This has been extremely dangerous for the species, especially the ones located in Asia, having a higher price than African ones. The difference between these two kinds of rhinos is that African types have two horns, while Asian varieties have a single horn. Two-horned rhinos have larger horns than the ones who only have one. For the species with one single horn, the Indian rhinoceros, also called the greater one-horned, have a length that measures between 20 and 100 centimeters, while the two-horned black rhinos are around 50 to 140 centimeters. For preventing poaching, some organizations have used horn poisoning, consisting in applying poison for humans in rhinos' horns. Don't worry, the mixture is safe for rhinos. The problem is that they're not only poaching them for their presumably healing qualities, but for decorative purposes, so it doesn't help that much. Another solution that's been implemented in certain places is to remove their horns after putting them to sleep. This activity, though not dangerous, is not great, since they're not supposed to live that way. They get a tough life thanks to the poachers. Number 6. Buffalo Don't be confused. We're aware that when you look up for buffalo on Google, besides buffalo wings, the American bison is probably the first one to pop up. However, as the name suggests, they're not buffalo but a type of bison. Buffalo are very distinctive, and on this list, the bison doesn't really fit well, taking into account that we're talking about big horns. There are two main species of buffalo, the African buffalo and the water buffalo. The first one, also known as the Cape Buffalo, is identified by the uniqueness of its curving horns located at the top of their heads. It has no natural predator and is very deadly, the reason why they're nicknamed Black Death. Even if they are dangerous, they are very democratic with their herds and have an election system to choose which road they want to take next. On the contrary, we have Asian Buffalo who are entirely domesticated, just like cows, for their nutritious milk. The horns are extremely large, being 13 feet and 10 inches, longer than a Volkswagen Beetle. That is crazy. Number 5. Abnormal Antlers Although antlers are not the same as horns, they sure deserve a mention here. There are a lot of differences. Deer have antlers, whereas horns are found in bovine families. Horns are composed of keratin on the outside and have bone on the inside. Antlers, on the other hand, are made up of bone covered by fine and vascular skin called velvet, which supplies blood to help with the growth of the antlers. In addition, antlers shed annually during mating season, meaning they're constantly changing and they can regrow. They're also one of the fastest growing animal tissues on the planet, increasing one inch each day. The size matters in this case, because antlers can only grow in healthy males, perhaps that's why it's an important feature in terms of sexual behavior, defense, and dominance. So they really need their antlers. Number 4. Crazy Cactus Bucks of course, nature can be perverse sometimes and not function correctly. Antlers growth is connected with the testosterone levels in males. Cactus bucks refer to an unusual thickening pattern that still has the velvet around it caused by testicular trauma, undescended testicles, or diseases of the blood supply in the testicles, which leads to variation in testosterone levels. It commonly looks like tumors or bulges in the antlers. This doesn't only affect their testicles, which most of the times are small, but also damages their velvet, meaning that they'll probably suffer problems relating to shedding. That's a tough life. Number 3. African Watusi What's better, a dog or a cow that behaves like a dog? Don't be confused by the size of these cattle and their symmetrical long and large diameter horns. Also known as Ancola Watusi, they're extremely tender and love to be caressed on the top of their heads place that they can't reach because of the size of their horns. They're usually red and are either one-colored or spotted. Their horns are commonly circular rather than flat, and the base is proportional to the length of the horn. It functions to protect them from intruders and also acts as radiators to decrease excess heat in the body. 
The process is simple. The blood circulates through the horn in order to be cooled down and then returns to the body. In the past, these cattle were considered sacred and were never used for meat production, but only used for their milk. Number 2. Texas Longhorn Similar to the Watusi, Texas Longhorn is recognized by its large horns that can extend over 2.4 meters on both sexes. Their horns can have a slightly upward bend or triple twists at the tip. Another interesting feature is that they can have a varied number of colors. According to the Guinness World Record, Poncho has the largest horn spread on a steer ever documented and has a span of 10 feet and 7.4 inches. However, in October 2019, Bucklehead unofficially broke that record with a measure of 11 feet 1.8 inches from end to end. There are other cases of longest recorded total horn length like M. Arrow Cha Ching with 3.29 meters. In second place, we have a cow called 3S Danica with 100 inches around 2.54 meters. What fascinating animals! Number 1. Narwhal Finally, number one animal on the list. Narwhals are exquisite creatures that live under the sea. You may have heard about them, but did you know that the large thing on their head is not a horn, but actually a canine tooth? Crazy, right? So, they're more similar to an elephant and their gigantic tusks. It's an enlarged tooth that has up to 10 million nerve endings inside. This is more common in males, and some may even have two of them. They come from the upper jaw, specifically the left side, through the lip, and create the characteristic helix spiral form. It grows their entire life and can reach between 1.5 to 3.1 meters long. There are a number of theories about what the tusk can do, including it being a sex trait for opening breathing holes in the ice, feeding, or even an acoustic organ. Because the tooth has so many nerves connected to the brain, it could be a method of communication between males who rub each other's tusks to share information about the water. Nevertheless, its true function is still a mystery. And that's it. Animals with the biggest horns in the world. Which was your favorite? Let us know in the comments, and before you go, be sure to smash the like button, share, and subscribe for more amazing content. See you later!